Okay, so I noticed a small issue in our data table project, and I believe that we have fixed all the issues about pagination and search. But there's a small issue that we need to fix, and we'll be doing that in this video. But first, let's go ahead and look into the issue that we are currently facing, and then we will go ahead and fix it. Okay, so let's say if I'm on page five, so I navigate to page five, and then I decide to search for something. So let's say in this case, I'm going to search for a string called sum. And as you can see, we are currently on page five, as you can see on the browser, it is indicating that we are on page five, and then we are searching for sum. So it means that this record exists on our database, and we might have a limited number of records and yeah that's why it is not showing up in here but you can see in here that it is showing one results so yeah something has been returned but since we are on page five so that's the reason the record is not displayed here but if i go to page one then as you can see the record is now displayed so yeah that's the issue let's now go ahead and fix it okay so let's open up our code editor and here we can understand why is this happening and then we can fix it accordingly so here as you can see whenever the page number is updated we just grab the page number and then assign it to our page number property and again we are watching for students url and whenever that changes then we make a visit to this url and these all look good but i think the issue is happening on this block of code so we are checking if we have a valid search value then we append search to our url and then we return that so we now need a way to reset the page whenever the search value changes so whenever the user searches for something then we will just go ahead and reset the page number and that would fix the issue that we are currently facing so how do we do that so if you go ahead and navigate to the bottom, then as you can see, we are watching for students URL. And whenever that changes, we make a visit to this URL. And along with that, we are also preserving the scroll, we are preserving the state, and we are passing replace to true. So whenever the search value changes, then we will just set the page number to one, which basically means we are resetting the page. So yeah, let's go ahead and implement that. So what I will do is I'll just go ahead and copy this block of code. And instead of watching for students URL, we will watch for search and we will get the updated value in here. And then we can check if we have a valid value. So we can pass that. And if we do, then we can reset the page number to one. And we can do that by passing page number dot value equal to one. Okay, so this should fix the issue and we can verify that by looking into our data table project. So I'll just navigate to the students index page and let's say if I'm on page six and then I type something in here. Okay, for some reason this is not working. So let's go ahead and look into it. So we are watching for search and okay, we have search. Okay, I need to run the npm run dev command to compile the scripts so let's go ahead and do that and let's now go ahead and give this a try so i'll just open up the students index page and i'll navigate to page five and then i'll type sum and we are still on page five okay so behind the scenes i just hard refreshed the page and that probably cleared the catch and everything is now working as expected so yeah, if I now go ahead and navigate to page five, and then if I go ahead and type something in here, then as you can see, the page number is now reset and the results, as you can see, are now rendered. So yeah, everything is working as expected and the issue that we were facing is now fixed. So yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.